There are four speaking tasks included in this practice exercise. After the independent task has been answered, related ideas and expressions will be shown for response improvement and vocabulary building. As for the integrated tasks, important points that need to be included in a response will be shown after each task has been answered, to check whether your response contains the necessary details. For independent speaking, task 1, you will be given 15 seconds to prepare a response, and 45 seconds to speak. For integrated speaking, tasks 2 and 3, you will have 45 seconds to read the passage, and then listen to a conversation or lecture. You will then have 30 seconds to prepare a response, and 60 seconds to speak. For integrated speaking, task 4, you will listen to a professor's lecture, and then will be given 20 seconds to prepare a response, and 60 seconds to speak. Speaking task 1. You will have 15 seconds to prepare a response, and 45 seconds to speak. Is it better to remodel old buildings, or to destroy them, and build new ones? Include reasons and details to support your answer. Begin to prepare your response, after the beep. Please begin speaking, after the beep. Speaking task 2. You will have 45 seconds to read an announcement from the campus security. Then, listen to a conversation between two speakers discussing the announcement. After the conversation, you will have 30 seconds to prepare a response, and 60 seconds to speak. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. Wow, did you see this announcement? Yeah, they're raising the price of parking tickets from $35 to $50. That's a pretty substantial jump, wouldn't you say? Maybe, but I think the change is long overdue. There's definitely a serious problem with students parking alongside the street, not just near fire lanes, but also in front of all those shops near campus. I'm sure it's bad for business, because it prevents customers from parking there. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. It would be nice for customers if more spots were available close to the stores. It'd also be great if campus security could make enough money from parking tickets to build a new lot closer to school. The current one is just too far away. It often takes me a half hour to get to class. I know what you mean. It takes me a while too. 
I don't know why the university just didn't build a parking lot closer to campus. But now, hopefully, they'll get the chance to fix that. Then students won't have to waste so much time walking to class. The man expresses his opinion about the university's decision, state his opinion, and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Speaking task 3. You will have 45 seconds to read the passage about scavenging. Then, listen to a lecture about the same topic. After the lecture, you will be given 30 seconds to prepare a response and 60 seconds to speak. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture related to the passage you just read. We've all seen the movies and cartoons that show a vulture circling around over a character to show that the character is near death. Vultures are perhaps the most widely recognized scavenger animal, and they represent a typical scavenger. In other words, they usually just wait for animals to die before eating them. Sure, they may finish off a wounded or sick animal that's out on its way out anyway, but... By and large, they tend to wait for other animals or Mother Nature to do the heavy lifting. You won't ever see a vulture hunting down healthy prey the way a typical predator would. But there are some scavengers that take a more proactive approach to finding food. Take hyenas. Sure, they're scavengers and will gladly step in to finish off a devoured carcass after a lion has had its fill. But they are no strangers to the hunt. In fact, they are quite skillful hunters and extremely vicious fighters. Like other large predators, they will chase down their target until they are able to catch it by the leg or stomach, after which the pack of hyenas will surround the animal and rapidly consume its entire body.
The professor describes scavengers by providing two examples. Explain how these examples demonstrate what scavengers are, and how they may differ from one another. Begin to prepare your response, after the beep. Please begin speaking, after the beep. Speaking task 4. You will listen to a lecture, then you will have 20 seconds to prepare a response, and 60 seconds to speak. Now listen to a lecture in a sociology class. The professor is discussing about social construction. Let's talk today a bit about how we each perceive the world. Consider the following real scenario that takes place in Boston. A Harvard professor arrives at his home late one night after a long flight. His door is jammed, and he has to ram it with his shoulders a few times to get it open. A woman across the street, thinking she is witnessing a burglary, calls the police. A police sergeant arrives and demands to see the professor's ID. The professor, an African American, insists the Caucasian officer has no right to ask for ID and calls the officer a racist. Angry words are exchanged, and the professor is arrested. What we have here are two very different views of the same event. The professor, as I said, feels the cop is requesting ID only because of his skin color, while the cop feels that he is just doing his job by protecting a homeowner and following procedure for responding to a break-in call. How can this happen? Why can't both men view the situation through the same lens? It's because of what we call social construction a facet of the human mind that shapes every part of our social lives. The basic concept here is that there is really no such thing as an objective reality. We as humans have certain beliefs and expectations about everyone else in society, and we interpret situations in terms of those beliefs. So, in the example of the Boston cop and the Harvard professor, each person acted based on his own subjective construction of reality. As you can see, social construction can lead to a lot of problems due to genuine misunderstandings. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain the concept of social construction. Begin to prepare your response after the beep.
please begin speaking. After the beep, 